Frank Ali's passion for storytelling led him into his current photojournalism job, but it wasn't his first choice. Really what I wanted to do, but I, I knew I wanted to do something in production, something in video. So I got my years residency in, went to Tier Community College, studied film and television. Still not really sure, you know, what direction I wanted to focus on. I thought I wanted to be a feature film director. By day, he spends his days at ABC7 as a news photographer editor and at COC Friday mornings teaching his field production class. My job is I'm in a different story every day, different location every day, meet different people every day. From teaching his students how to shoot a story, little did he know he would become part of one. The tick fire struck October 24th right behind his home, where he was fighting for everything he's earned. First fire or structure I've ever had to protect only because it was my home. He fought the fire and saved his home, but since having to relocate from the fire, Frank Ali has faced many challenges, however, still found a positive outlook to it. I have to move some of my stuff from my house to the hotel, and then I'm looking for stuff, and I'm like, oh man, it's at the house. So it's kind of been a challenging experience for my wife and I for the past week. He feels lucky to have his home, but feels for those who don't. So many wildfires, and it's very sad where a, f uh, a wildfire will rage through a neighborhood and only the chimney standing, and the people return home and, and they're sifting through ashes and, you know, what's remaining of their past 30, 40 years they spent in your home. It's a tough road ahead, but Frank remains optimistic. Reporting for Cougar News, this is Sasha Strader.